What's going on guys, Think Wavy back again with some more GBO2 and today we're going to be talking about uh, the unicorn and obviously I was talking about it in the Phoenix video that it's still good, it's still top tier um, uh, in terms of is it better than a Phoenix or is Phoenix better than Unicorn? Phoenix is better than um, Unicorn in terms of uh, the output it can do and like the utility that uh, Phoenix has but in terms of tankiness and um, I'd say consistency the unicorn has that because for example uh, you know when you go into NTD you, you you know you shoot at someone and you triple down swing what's consistent about doing that is it obviously has a fence system and it can't get interrupted in that in its combo you know unless it gets really focused down um, uh, and even then you probably hit the eye field on its shield and stuff like that so uh, he'll probably hear. it is hard it's super hard to stun it's super tanky obviously it's awakening got nerfed um, so it's 45 percent of the melee but you know the the survival the extra survivability just makes it do more damage over time and obviously they didn't touch NTD so it makes people want to stay in NTD mode longer for me anyway I want to stay in NTD longer as well now but still knowing that I can just be a brick wall um, you know go back and heal and stuff awaken and like be really tanky and still uh, do decent damage because at the end of the day, they haven't touched the modifiers which I was talking about in my video. If you want to nerf the suit melee, yeah, really, that like you nerf the, uh, the modifiers. Uh, they didn't touch the modifiers, so it's still hurt. it's still pretty strong, you know. My build is is power is is no melee uh, strength in it. So with people that put melee in the suit, is it, it's still going to do massive amount of damage. You're doing way more damage than, than Phoenix can in Awakening if you actually put melee onto your suit as a unicorn. Like, it, without a doubt, like, it's, it's still strong, like, you know. So, it's just now, if you don't put melee, you just put, you just focus it for range, which I focus my suit more for range, because I like to be in Magnum. Then it's more of a mix. It's more of a mixture now, you know. If I I could make my build into a melee build and actually get more out of my melee, which is what they're trying to do, right? They're trying to nerf the the damage of the range to be able to do that. So, uh, yeah. So, at the end of the day. This suit is is still an a must pick suit, man. Like you can you can play you can play with I you play more uh, phoenixes, but did like you can you can get away with just playing unicorn. Honestly, you don't like you don't need to play phoenix. Honestly, like the the suit is still powerful. You know, it's very tanky. You see, I'm with um, some friends here, but like, regardless of the point, like, it's like, it's the frontline suit, man. You know. So we are destroying the enemy team, but. I'm pretty sure, like, yeah, it was Zaz here in the Phoenix as well, so. You're gonna see that this suit. You know, if you're good with it, you know you can you can out damage the phoenix. 
Like you can, like the the thing is the strand rule is it's still a shotgun, right? You still have better tools than the Phoenix for like up close. If you can land the shotgun like like pre you know, if you can land it, you you know, you're pretty well off of stunning things, you know. I didn't quite see how much damage I did there, but I'm sure we'll get enough opportunity. But the damage is, you know, it's still solid, man. as well. I'm gonna have melee resistance. If that was type of range, you're still doing some decent damage. That's that's what I'm saying with the with, with the unicorn. The nerf that it did it did hurt like it did nerf it for sure. But it's still strong man. Like you know. B Magnum still powerful, even though they the B Magnum got nerfed also. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they took away a, they took away a thousand HP from it. That you know, that's taken away from the NTD and the tankiness of the suit as well. But the thing is, in NTD, man, I mean. The suit is still, it's still spreads through his heart, man, with his melee. So yeah, if you, like, I know people have been wondering, like, oh, is the unicorn so good? I know a lot, of, I know some people are saying it is good, but majority of people don't know if, oh, a unicorn, unicorns has been replaced or something. And that's not the case. The Phoenix is not a frontline suit, you know. It, it be the 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 unicorn is. So it's better to have both of them on the team, not just just one of them, right? You want to be have a flexible team. The Phoenix is it just it, it buffs the unicorn with the free, you know, the healing and everything, right? So it just makes the unicorn more tanky or you got Phoenix on your team. And then the Phoenix is gonna be grateful that you're you're in the front line is tanking most of the shots and stuff while they can just help people from range and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So you can see it's like well I did nearly six thousand damage, I was like uh, five thousand seven hundred damage on those on the downswing right there. So like NTD is still popping, right? So we can still pop off. <laughs> it's just the range damage got nerfed. So we're not hitting as hard from range anymore, but it's, it's not meant to be doing that. And it's meant to be going in for melee. And the Phoenix is there for the range. So yeah, I catch you guys in this one. Phoenix is still uh, Phoenix is still stronger, but. Unicorn is just right there behind it, like, and it's got better tools than the Phoenix, as, as in tanking and stuff like that, and the shield and stuff like that. Anyway, catch you guys in the next one. God bless.